Hello children, my name is Bishop Patrick. Today I'm going to read chapter 62, the Disciples' Prayer from God Speaks to His Children, the ACN Child's Bible. Jesus said to his disciples, this is how you must pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That prayer is all about the Father, and I'm standing by a beautiful uh, picture of the Father and the prodigal son. The Father, of course, as we all know, stands for the love and the forgiveness of God our Father. Children, as you know, Jesus loved to spend time in prayer with his Father in heaven. He loved his Father and he knew that his Father loved him. When you love somebody, you try to do everything you can to show your love for them. That's what Jesus did. Everything that he said and everything that he did was done out of love for his Father in heaven. And in his prayer, Jesus always asked his Heavenly Father to guide him to make good decisions. So before choosing his disciples, for example, he prayed. His disciples saw what he did, and so they asked Jesus to teach them how to pray like he did. And that's why this prayer, the Our Father, is so special. When we pray it, Jesus is very close to us. I love this prayer because every time I say those two opening words, Our Father, I'm reminded that because of my baptism, I belong, like you, to a huge family of the followers of Jesus and that God is my Father in heaven. There are millions of Christians all over the world who pray this prayer in their own languages. Some of you may be able to pray the Our Father in other languages as well. So why is it that we can all say, Our Father? It's because when we were each baptised, we joined God's family. God became our loving Father in heaven and we became his children, his sons and daughters, whom he loves so much. Because of our baptism, we now share that same relationship as Jesus enjoyed with the Father. As we know, Jesus knew that the Father loved him with all of his heart, and Jesus loved him back in the same way. Everything that Jesus did, all his actions, his miracles, and everything that he taught, he did out of love for his Father. This prayer, the Our Father, invites us all to open our hearts to God our Father, to his love for each of us, so that we, as his sons and daughters, might love him back in everything we do, just like Jesus. So when we pray the words, for example, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, we're each saying that we want to make God our Father king in our hearts, so that we might serve him in everything we do and everything we say, just like Jesus did. We're saying we want to make our world a better, kinder, more just and loving place through what we say to others and how we treat them out of love for Jesus. And when we pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, we're asking God our Father to keep on forgiving us and giving us fresh starts when we sin and when we hurt others in what we say and do. And we're also saying that we will always God ask God our Father to help us to forgive those who hurt us. Finally, children, this beautiful prayer, if it is prayed slowly, can help us to experience more and more the Father's personal love for each of us. Our Father in heaven wants each of you as you grow up to become more and more the person that he wishes you to be, his beloved son or daughter.